Once there was a land, colourless, all made of black and white. All we do not know how it was. Perhaps all there was was alike of us or others. Whatever one decides to choose to believe doesn't change this story. Some ask if tones vary in black and white, as tones are there in relation to the situation. You may see it or not. All that makes some is some, and all that make none is one or none. It would not matter for that land or for this story at all. Concepts stayed the same. Definition and definition makers changed. Change is useful to keep the sign carrier alive. The story starts with an end. The black and white land was of somehow, some kind, somewhere with some ones, of somehow, some kind, somewhat. Ones knew about colours. The goal and the wish of each one was to get a colour for the land. They had many ways to get colours, through wondrous happenings, or was it just one happening? To see all the colours that we know. This story summarises the myth of the ones who made colours for their land. Although the land was one, the story's endless. If the land got colours, that's not to find in this story, because this story starts black and white and ends too black and white, in a way of seeing of black or of white, in a place which no one saw any one of each, neither a combination of both. He was walking through the cracks of the untouched land. Nobody has seen before or could imagine before. The land was not to see. Seeing the land would kill the land and make the naive eye blind. Slowly. The eye would suffer till it would not see a needle point of light, then the sufferer would lead to wisdom. There was no film, no painting, no sound, no object to describe this land. Everybody knew the land. How he came there was a long, hard, tasty way of wisdom. The touch would touch. Each touch on his fingertips touched to taste. Taste to keep warm for cold, from cold to icy, for harmony, so to hear of one, then some to none. None to step down again on fingertips. He travelled this way, he to she to she. He was a wizard, or a wise wizard, or It was not to describe him or her as one. His name was made of a sound, a sound nobody could write by words. It was a sound nobody could remember. She was a sound everyone knew only when they would hear. She was walking on. She was a she to be a he, and he was a he to be a she. She was looking for colours. It was near or far. Looking for colours was not the case if it would have been. Then she would never have found. Then she would have been a looking for colours of, just like our baker, sailor, preacher from bake, baker, sail, sailor, preach, preacher, etc. Still, for the sake of the other ones like us, she could only be described in this story now as she was looking for colours. She was not looking for anything. As well as she knew where she steps, he also knew what she was, or she also knew that he was she to be it for all words of worlds. They say the land was shaking, roaring and cracking a big crack, dividing a percentage of the land into two. Nobody knew if the percentage was a half or of a millionth. The roar was heard by all times. It was so loud or silent. The crack was seen only one time, at the same time of all times, of all places, each time, for all moods and inner sensations. And perhaps it was not the same for all meditations, at least for what we call one. One meditation was made of the other's unbreakable pieces, as it is itself. Maybe you think that some of the ones, or one of the ones, knew this meditation. Then you are mistaken. 
Ones were ones because each one was part of the total ones. One belongs no more to ones if it is the atom that cannot divide, or if it becomes the meditation to crack the land of all times by all roars in two. Then one dies, some arrives, some to become some, to become some, to become some. The land roared and cracked into two. It was not a fight, but peace and light. Colors as colors was the light of all colors came through the crack of the black and white land. Some say they see all to forget. Some say each one of the ones match to one color and they all in total make the land color database of color knowledge. Which one of these two is right or better to tell can be, but is not known by me. I think personally there is an answer to this question when one can follow the logic of all the equations, then he may solve the question at this part of the story. They say she was a wizard, or a painter, or a painter wizard, or a wizard painter, so that each step that would touch confirmed the color of all colors in one's vision, a vision without future and history. A vision not to keep in memory for the ones from ones. The crack would shut down, and all that they fight for will be sucked down. Colors will fall apart and dissolve somewhere in the height. So to end a moment, and so to start the momentless flow of the black and white again. So to conceive a moment without future and past of what and how and where. Nobody shall remember. The colorless color cannot be pronounced. Neither can it be visualized. The ones have why. The why knows why. The ones had a secret secret. Then one dies, some arrives. Some to become some, to become some, to become some. The land of the ones was built by invisible lines. When a one would walk down an alley, or a ladder, or what and when, the other one would wash a shirt, or a skirt, or what. Then one to the other one, and the other one to the other other one would connect an invisible line. I call the invisible line the line of irrelative action. Each action seemingly functional for the ones of that land had a function of one or none. Each action happens to connect irrelative but functional looking tasks of each one to the other one so that the final can form a form of a total. The fact that the crack could shut is not to be stabilized. The ones thought for an appropriate solution to the problem. The technologies that they used differed from exa towards mega, from femto towards micro, and then again towards meta muse. All elements, molten and crystallized, suggested the right architecture and transparency to keep the wondrous alive for ones with ones in it. Maybe it is for the line of this story, or for the fact or truth, none of these efforts could stay alive. Ingenuity similarly sank down, or dissolved up, faded away, and stayed as one word among the others. Then one dies, some arrives, some to become some, to become some, to become some. Unrelated task combinations were endless. Endlessness mobile, mobility instable, instability a shape, shape of a surface area, areas made of a color, color of colors was the measure in terms of a day or every day. Or was the measure in terms of the street cat to say, Mew, the boy to answer, Hey Mew, are you hungry? Or will you play with me? The traffic lights to turn to red, the cab to stop, the woman in the cab to look out. She sees the boy talking to a cat. She smells then a daisy, a daisy not to forget. When she saw it first, she too was a child with a cat. Perhaps this line made the red or a red window. A shape of a square or a rectangle or red was just a line, a fractal of the line, or a line, a fractal of the rectangle or a square window. Does it matter? I say it was no red but yellow. Mew from the cat to the boy. Mew from the boy to a woman in a cab where the traffic lights turned to red. She would be mew with a girl who smelled the yellow of a daisy. A daisy is, isn't, yellow.
The one dies, some arrive. Some to become some, to become some, to become some. They used to tell heroic stories for kids. But why did she step to make purple? I didn't say purple, said the mother. It is red honey so that she can become purple of the sky. The child was getting sleepy. The wizard was walking till the colours would twinkle as a bright light of lights. Light to light a room of one's own. Somewhere in the wilderness or in a desert in an ocean or in the ice of no plants of all or no souls she would walk on or he. The child was sleeping. The mother was making a late night's coffee. A late night's coffee can be tasty for some who wish to pull the time. Coffee makes the minutes longer, brings in some memories that have not been lived yet, and yet they stay as memories. Coffee was dark and heavy to taste in the stomach. Coffee became a full point, a full point to end something. Then one dies, some arrives, some to become some, to become some, to become some. The skirt seemed to be dry hanging amongst the laundry outside. The kitchen light died in the darkened night sky that was a sign of rain or a colour crack. Cracks colour for the land if partial rain starts to fill in the time after story reading and during coffee making. The child was dreaming. He dreamt that each rain droplet was a colour for the land, a colour to a light over the land's irrelative task forms. He saw a yellow light of bright. He followed it till he could stand straight on the top of a daisy, then he stretched himself to catch the side of the red skirt that was blowing amongst other laundry. The weather, storm. The storm was there not to blow the laundry away, but to help the little one catch the side of the red skirt so that from there on he could hang down and then again let go over the green grass. The storm, partial the rest calm and even warm. When the partial storm stops, the partial rain starts and cracks a crack on the black and white land, a crack which glows all colours of all, for all colours of all for all makes the time for them. Time is momentless without the crack. Momentless flow is black and white for that land. The green, soft and wet the droplets of a rain that rained as partial rain, or is it that the droplets drip drop from the laundry? They say the grass dries not till the laundry shall be completely dry. Catch the red skirt, the wind blows you nearest to the land. You shall jump at that very point, down you fall between the green wet grass towards the soil. Before you touch the ground, look through a droplet, then you see the reflection of the soil. Soil not as dark brown, but as orange from the moment of orange. Your looks look up to confirm the colour of the sky that shall be the sky of the black and white land. She told so to he, or he to she, she to be it. The little boy dreamt so, but to my surprise he refused to do it all as real. The little boy decided to keep it all as a dream. Then one dies, then one dies some arrives, some to become some to become some to become some. The wizard smiled slightly. The smile pushed the wind aside. It stretched and crimpled and became a half sphere of transparency. The smile this way froze the sky. The painter knew the coffee was not dark brown now. What the little one should see was a bubble floating on the coffee. The bubble was made of a frozen smile. The bubble reflected the world upside down. The world of upside down was no more black and white. On the bubble was glowing colours of light. The boy set the invisible lines. The boy shall jump to connect, make forms, make surface areas out of these forms. He shall connect the unrelated tasks of a land. He inside a bubble floating on the dark land surface that shall crack. He inside a bubble made of a smile of a wizard or a painter or a wizard painter or a painter wizard or a she or a he or a she or a it. He inside a bubble made of glowing colour. He inside a bubble reflecting the tasks of a land of wands outside. He inside a bubble shall connect these tasks. There was a bubble lifetime for the wondrous to occur. There was a bubble lifetime for she or the wizard to become it. 
and it perhaps to define, perhaps to name, perhaps to contribute, and it to happen. Then one dies, then one dies some arise, some become some, some become some, some become some. The snowstorm would start, there should not be a fight, the sky should be bright, so that he can see, see the pure colour, the colour of the height through the bubble. The wizard walks now fast, in the icy light white for the wands of black land to paint a colour of the sky or to be it. Everywhere darkened fast and was faster than our fast. She became a light before the storm could start. The boy set the invisible lines. The boy matched each irrelative task to a changing colour of the glowing surface of the bubble. The boy built windows from lines, then windows inside windows, so that the window can reflect back towards white and black land all the colours of the window of the windows. The nature was tough. The snowstorm should not start before the boy would look up. When red combines with blue, it makes a colour of new. The black and white landers knew that shall make the changing day of light. Nobody can grab the difference of a bubble made of windows, and windows made of a bubble shall be a moment of changing colour. Then one dies, then one dies some arise, some 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 some. The form of the transparent colours that match to a combination of an unrelated task whose form of each would fit in a window in a bubble made of a frozen smile of a wizard or a painter or a wizard painter or a painter wizard or a he or a she or a she to become hit shall change the day of light. It will become the colour of the sky. That moment the frozen smile broke into countless unbreakable pieces to be carried away by the storm. That moment the bubble on a coffee exploded. That moment, the wands of the black and white land heard the roar of the cracking land. The dark surface of the coffee blurred. All the wands ran breathless to see one more time, or to catch one, or to be one. Out of the momentless moment's flow was the moment to glow as colours. If the boy would like, he could stop the crack, then the wishes, or the goals of the black and white landers, and let them become the colours. The boy decided to keep it all as a dream. The wizard felt grief and thrill. The expected of the unexpected has come. The wizard, the painter, the he, the she converted to it. The boy has painted the painting incomplete. They say the window of the windows missed the colour, the colour of one's desire. A desire that keeps moment alive a desire that matches to a purple of the sky. The more you look through, the more you shall see the window changes infinitesimally for each moment of the light of a day. Each action shall relate this way, to form a form of a colour of one's desire. A desire no more for all, but for one missing one through a window of windows in the black and white land of ones from ones. Then one dies, then one, one, dies, dies, then one dies, dies, some arise, some to become some, to become some, to become some. The boy became the wizard, the painter, the he, the she, the she, to become it before the purple of the sky. Then the one died, and one arrived to become none.